let's give Sai something with ice. Alrighty then. Um. There we go. I think we made this earlier, but this one's easy enough. And then ice, obviously. <clears throat> oh man, my microphone got knocked down. Oh no, I'm blending it. I'm blending it. I got distracted. Okay, do that one more time. There we go. Here. It's pretty cold outside, though. <clears throat> yeah, but I don't like it hot, or I don't like hot or warm drinks. They make me feel nauseous. You know what cheers me up? <clears throat> Excuse me. My throat is very eh today. Singing. P hearing people sing helps, too. Do you sing? I mean, did you take singing lessons or something? Nope. People have told me my voice is pretty bad, actually. But they've also told me I'm good with the harmonica. Ooh, that's neat. So you play the harmonica? I needed something to do some breathing exercises with. And a harmonica is smaller than a tuba. Yeah, it would be... Well, you know, if you took the tuba and hauled that around, it would be like weight training, too. <laughs> and I guess if you practice enough, you can become decent. That's something I didn't expect. <clears throat> I hear that a lot. I know I don't look the musical type. I used to play the violin right until I was 16 or so. Really? Can you still play? I don't know. I feel like if you... She's 27 now. That's 11 years. That's a long time to not mess with it at all. Although I was never good at being a drummer in band to begin with, so... I, if I were to try and do that after... Let's see, I quit when I was a freshman. Or I quit after my freshman year, which was... 2012, that was six years ago. Yeah. I was never good, though, and that's why... I would suck if I tried. The violin's at my mom's house, <clears throat> so I don't have it with me. But I guess I could. It's one of those things you don't forget easily. Why did you stop? I don't know. One day I just felt like stopping. No deep reason behind it. Just like me and cooking. That and almost burning my place up. That is probably the bigger motivator there. <clears throat> <laughs> One second. When's Stella coming? Now that you mention it, she's a bit late. Let me call her. <clears throat> wow. Okay. You do that. I'm gonna go take my break. Tell Gil if you need anything else. Sure. And now she just, she never looked like the picture of smile and sunshine in the background, in that picture before. But now she just looks really depressed, that now that I have context. <clears throat> Even though it's exactly the same. <laughs> Stella and Sai make me a bit jealous. Back. Looks like you've calmed down. Oh, I didn't realize that was ever there. No, it's weird. Wouldn't that be what the exit is for? I still feel like kicking myself, make no mistake. But I guess I cooled down a bit. Sai helped a lot with that one, though. I just can't stay mad when I see her. It is really nice to have those kind of people around. Speaking of which, where is she? 
I believe she went outside to look for the Stella, that Stella girl or something. <clears throat> the way you are right now, it feels like I should be protecting you. Suddenly her Terminator eyes start shooting lasers. Hey, the only thing hindering me is the broken arm. I've gone into burning buildings with a two centimeter deep cut. Yeah, I remember that one. One more millimeter and you would have lost the motor function in your arm. Wow. You know, centimeters don't sound like that much, but when you're talking like being cut in the arm or something, that, th that could be pretty deep. Welcome. Ah, hello, Jill. What's this about protecting who? Yeah, I'm, I'm sort of like Stella's unofficial bodyguard, but I'm not really fit for such duties right now. My father insists that I go everywhere with protection, so most of the time I only ask Sai if she feels like going out. <clears throat> She's trained to deal with the kind of things that bodyguards deal with anyway. Having friends like that is nice. And she's more fun to hang around with, too. Her happy face is just so nice. So I'm assuming that gorilla outside is a bodyguard? That's Buster. Pretty cool guy. He played football professionally until they lost until he lost his leg in a demolition derby. Oh man, that's hardcore. <clears throat> We offered him an implant surgery for all of his years of service, but he rejects it every time. Oh. Well, he got used to re the replacement he's using, so maybe it's for the best. <laughs> what? It's a thick oak branch on a metal bowl tied to his stump. That's like some pirate Captain Peg Leg stuff. That is sweet. And yet he can still f run faster than me with it? Whoa! <coughs> <coughs> True. Do you want something? I'm fine right now. A brand teeny? I'm in a, a big one. I'm in a good mood. Oh. Well, at least someone is. Alright. 12 Adele Hyde. Wait, can I even. Oh, yeah. I forgot it doubles up. Four, five, ten, twelve. Click the ager right now. Six powder deltas. There we go. And two carbo trying. Mmm. Here you go. After all these years, I still don't get why the f finest and most expensive things come in small packages. So that they can nickel and dime you for everything. Ever tried to go to a restaurant and only for them to serve you a really small portion of some fine food? Sometimes you just want to stuff yourself with really cheap food. Sigh, let's go for some hamburgers later. I'm not taking no for an answer. <clears throat> I know what you mean when you say some, you know. You might as well call the place and tell them to prepare everything in advance. Can I ask you to do something? Sure. I guess. How did you two meet? <clears throat> Stella showed up in the park I used to play at when I was a kid. We played a couple of times. She started showing up more and more and that was it. Oh, so they've been friends since like childhood. I don't remember if they mentioned that yet. <clears throat> My father told me that when I was five, I kept insisting on going to a real kid's park. We drove for some time, and the park I liked was the one Sai happened to be at. Have you ever seen a girl in a dress go to a muddy park? <laughs> she learned her lesson and started showing up with more fitting clothes. But man, that's one scene I can't forget. Uh oh her face so you two have known each other for most of your lives I've known her longer than I've known my own father oh man why the question no reason you two just look <clears throat> so comfortable with each other 
Any other person could have sworn you were an item. Well, maybe not romantically, but remember how bummed Stella was when Sai was missing? They might be even more important than that to each other. An item? What kind of item? Oh, Sai. A couple. Sai. Oh, I, yeah, yeah, I get it now. <laughs> they earned a mock prize of sorts for best couple at Stella's high school. Three years in a row. That's wonderful. So you two didn't go to the same high school? Nope. That's weird. Well, not weird. It's weird that someone outside of the school was eligible for that, I mean. Don't you have any childhood friends, Jill? Childhood friends? Can't think of anything. My grandpa, I guess. What kind of man was he? Gruff. The kind to eat raw prawns and brutes every morning? She told that story to, I think, Jamie. Brr. But around me, he was m different. I have memories of him barking orders to my dad only to turn around and play with me gently. It's interesting, though. He was my mom's dad, but after my mom and dad separated, he stayed with my... What? That's weird. But yeah, he's the one that comes to mind when I think about childhood friends. That's really nice. Ooh. Hey, Jill, what's this bloom light? A spicy drink. Tastes nice the first time, but gets samey after a while. It's also brown for some reason. Give me one of those, please. I'll have one, too. On it. Have I made this one before? I don't think I have. I think I just kind of chose it. Or I think I've looked at it, but never actually, actually decided to make it. One, two, three, four. Ah, oh, there's a fly flying around my face. Aged and on the rocks? Wow. I thought they didn't do that. That's one. There's two. Here you go. I don't know, I kind of like it. Yeah, but after the third one, it starts tasting like sand. Dude, but... How do you... After the third, like, sip? Spicy sand, but sand nonetheless. Alright. If there is one thing, I, okay, eating something that would eventually taste like sand is one thing. Having a drink that suddenly tastes like sand is probably the most uncomfortable feeling ever. So who's dimming the light? Zzz. Huh, I guess she had too much before I came. Well, then she must still be tired from the whole bank thing. She told me about everything that happened in there. To be honest, I don't think I would have made it in her place. Dude, I don't think... With the exception of Dana and Gil. And Jamie, who's a hired killer. I don't think anyone that we talked to in the game so far would have. And Dana, this is because I like to think of her wacky antics as being something that's actually true of her. <laughs> And Gil, his shady past, obviously he has a, a what am, what's the word I'm looking for here? He knows how to handle himself. I guess I should be thankful for the nanomachine treatment she went through as a white knight. Nanomachines. Treatment. Trauma suppressors. Oh. Let's get in some... This is like some Metal Gear Solid 4 stuff. Like, this is why when Liquid shut off the system and MGS4, everyone just started freaking out. It's mandatory for every White Knight, regardless of division. Oh. Still, healing can only do so much. For three days, that bank was terrible, and poor Sai is still paying for it. The disbanding of the White Knights and subsequent persecution of those who were identified as former members 
It's unfair, you know, among all the people using the White Knights to further their own goals. Sai was one of the few that actually believed in what they were supposed to do. Yeah, that, that sucks. It paid off, though. <clears throat> oh, the doctor who treated her wounds was the same one she's always assisted with accidents and emergencies. That's nice. He treated her at no cost whatsoever. Well, good karma and all that. She's earned the gods' favor for that one, I think. But, you know... All that made me realize I might be a bad per- oh, hey. You can't just go compare yourself to your friend and motivate- let them motivate you to be better, but don't feel bad about yourself. How? When I saw Sai wounded and asking for help, a part of me was happy. After all this time needing her, she finally needed me. Eh? I, tr I felt useful, truly useful to her for the first time. How sad is that? Um, I'm sure you've been useful to her just as a friend before. Sometimes the best help one can provide is to stay alive. Who knows, maybe it was the idea of coming back to her, you that helped her. Oh man. 